Welcome folks to our Fusion 360 tutorial. This is part six. If you did the last tutorial, we just cut this hole through the block. It's a 5 8 diameter hole. Now what we're going to do is we're going to break our sharp edges. I always tell my students that Mother Nature hates a sharp edge. So if you think about pebbles in a river, they're not sharp edge typically. If they've been there a while, they have smooth edges because as the grit and the water passes them, it breaks them down. And then we talk about human beings. So human beings don't do that great with sharp edges. Think about it for a moment. Usually if you come in contact with a sharp edge, you wind up with a cut or a scratch or something like that. So unless we're creating a product that is specifically used for cutting, such as maybe knives or scissors or milling cutters or something like that, we want to get rid of those sharp edges to help kind of protect the users of our products. The most efficient way to do this, that is to create a chamfer. And to get a chamfer, a chamfer cuts an obtuse angled edge on something so that you don't have those acute sharp edges. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Modify tab, and we're going to choose the Chamfer tool. It's the third one down. It's spelled C-H-A-M-F-E-R. We're going to choose that one. And now we have a couple different options for how to select our edges. Notice in my menu, it's requesting a selection. You could find your edges, and you could click on each one. You're gonna notice that we have X-ray vision with Fusion 360, so I don't have to turn my block around. If I hover, now I can see my back edge. There's gonna be a corner down here and an edge right there. You should have 12 total. And then if you wanted to, you could also choose the edges of circles as well. So they're all in there, okay? However, I don't wanna do that, right? There's a faster way and a more efficient way to get these edges selected if I think I'm gonna use most of them. I'm going to click cancel and once again, choose chamfer. This time we're going to use a selection window. Now every once in a while people have this change. So over here towards the top right in your menu it says select and there's a drop down menu. Use the window selection. Window selection lets you drag a window over it and it will highlight the whole thing. So I'm going to click start in the top right corner click and drag a window over top of your object the whole thing and when I release notice that it selected all of my edges. If I want to turn anything off, just click on it. So I'm going to turn the two circles off or the edges of the holes. I don't want to put chamfers on those. Now the last thing I need to do, I could either grab my blue arrow and create chamfers that way. And you'll see how it's cutting that obtuse angle on it. All right, or it makes it into an obtuse angle. Or more accurately, because if we were going to machine this, we'd want a measurement, I'm going to type in 0.030. Okay, so not 0 0.30, but 0 0.030, and then select OK. And you'll notice that it's cut that chamfer on all of my edges. All right, it makes a nice finished product, and it cuts the sharp edges off of it. Now, the other thing we could do is we could do a fillet. And fillets, or radii, are harder to cut with a machine tool, depending on what you're doing. But I think they have a smoother, nicer uh, appearance and finish or feel to them. So in the Modify tab, the second one over says fillet. If you click on that, it's very similar to chamfer. It wants to know what edges. So right here it says edges, faces, or features. We're going to choose our two circles. Don't choose the cylinder. All right, don't click on this. You want the black circle and then move back and you'll find a second one. And we're going to type in, again, our radius, which is 0 0.080. All right, 0 0.080. And then hit your return key or enter or click OK on the menu. And you'll notice that it's made a soft rounded edge on that. All right, so pleasing to the eye and pleasing to the hands, but more expensive to create, a little more difficult to create nicely. All right, so at this point, we've added chamfers to all of our outside edges and we've created a radius on both sides of our hole. All right, and I can flip it around and you can see that it's done. When you are doing things like chamfering, if you did that selection tool, you might want to turn your block around and make sure that you got all of them. And then you can click the home button. 